get your brand in hand like get your brand in hand like like post that show like have it influencers in it you be in it have it like people want to see your actual product the quality all that like i'm saying the quality everything they want your product in hand like have product in hand like don't be doing uh, mock-ups only, all that, but have quality in hand, like, I mean, product in hand. Hey, man. Say, man. It's your boy, Take Quiz TV, and I'm back with another video. Today's video, I'll be showing y'all five mistakes you can avoid before starting your clothing brand so you know in advance, like, what not to do, how to, you feel me, go about this the best way, so... I got a list on my phone. I'm not gonna take too long in the intro. I'm really just gonna jump straight into this video. But five things I would say start with number one. Well, before any off it, before any of the five steps I tell you about how to avoid like five mistakes to avoid, off rip. Number one, like not this not on the list, but number one, like hard work and dedication. Like, I preach this on every video, like the the harder you work, the more dedicated you is to your brand, the better your brand gonna grow, the faster your brand gonna go. You working on this every day, all day, every day, obviously you're gonna see the results sooner than later. Like instead of putting one day a week, two day a week, um an hour here, an hour there, like the harder you work, the uh, the more dedication you put into it, the more progress you see, the faster progress you're gonna see. But yeah, that's besides the point. Um so I'm gonna jump straight into the list. Um, number one on my list is being cheap. Now, me, I'm gonna I'm break this down the best way. I'm a cheap ass nigga. Like, if I don't gotta spend some, I'm gonna do it the freest way possible. Like, when I first started my brand, um, what I was doing was print on demand. Now, print on demand is a great way to go if you don't have a lot of money to start or if you don't want to spend money to start, but. When I was first first started, I wasn't ordering samples. I wasn't ordering nothing. I was just trying to push, push, push to the same few people who was buying my shit. When I first first started, I was just trying to push like just drop, 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 keep getting the people to buy it. But that wasn't the best. That's not the best method into growth. Like that's the that's the thing. Like that wasn't a method for growth. I was being small minded, being cheap, thinking I'm just gonna hit them over the head with this. They gonna buy. I'm gonna get my the money. I'm same way I'm making, and then I'm gonna just go off and spend the money now. At that point, I wasn't thinking like, oh, my brand could be some big. My brand could be business. Like, learn the business about like the thing I was just doing for fun at the point. A little side hustle, you feel me? But yeah, being cheap gonna hurt you eventually. Cause the money I was making then, like ordering samples, posting pics, all that. The money I made. From that promotion, um, samples, um, influencers, brand ambassadors versus what I was making, just like bare minimum effort and being cheap, completely different now. Uh, that's why I would definitely say don't be cheap, bro. Like, this is going to lead into my second point, but don't be cheap, bro. Like, if you buy blanks, like wherever, wherever route you're going, whether it's you doing pre-orders, pre-made, or you doing print-on-demand, or you um manufacturing stuff yourself, like bro. Order order the best order the best quality shirts. Order the best um materials, whether it's screen print, vinyl, whatever whatever route you gonna go. Do your research and find the best quality of what you're doing. So that's gonna go, but th that's gonna go my second my second point. Don't like number mistake number two is when people put um money or profit over quality like like if you have a quality shirt this this is what I'm gonna tell y'all now bro if you if you buy quality if you're buying quality material so say the material is high as hell all that bro you gonna make your profit regardless cause nigga if your shirt quality you can charge quality prices like don't let nobody discourage you into not thinking your shit like if I drop a shirt and that shit fifty, sixty dollars, and you might think, who the fuck paying fifty and sixty dollars for a shirt? Like, that's your audience. Like, you gotta find your audience to be okay. This shirt is for people who willing to spend sixty. Like, bro, 
Don't let, don't ever let nobody discourage you into thinking yo, yo price ain't your, shouldn't be your price or talk you down out your price like, bro. Like, niggas don't care. They'll buy a thousand dollar Balenciaga, thousand dollar this, thousand dollar that, thousand dollar this. Amiri's, all that shit. Balenciaga's, them shits be ugly. There's a lot of brands that be popping like Supreme back in the day. Live as hell. Shit was ass. Like a weak ass white gilding tee with a fucking box of fucking vinyl print on it like gang that shit wasn't it's not no real like no heat for real bro and niggas but it was it's not about that it's about the hype behind your brand it's about the marketing behind your brand the meaning behind your brand that's what's more important that plus you got a good quality product that's gonna get you the the ultimate like the ultimate goal where you want to be like quality 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 like Everything you make, everything you do, a quality item, like you sell quality items, everything you got involved is quality. That's gonna do, I'm telling you, that plus not being cheap, bro, I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna work out for you in the long run. And then you can charge whatever price you want for it. Like, if you got the best quality shit, like, why the fuck do it matter? Like, you don't gotta be the cheapest, like, family friendly ass brand, unless that's your, like, stick. Like, me, if I get some, like, if I drop, like, a, uh, I almost gave up the sauce. I was gonna tell y'all. I'm, well, I'm gonna tell y'all. We on YouTube, bro. My next, not my next drop, cause my next drop is in October. Not October. My next drop is September. And it's just still summer, summer type clothes and shit. But um, as far as like October, November, I got sweatsuits and tracksuits and shit. Like my own little stilo, um, coming out for them. But nigga, I'm gonna charge whatever the fuck I want to. Like, if y'all niggas will go pay a hundred for a Nike Tech top and bottom for a well, hundred each, I might fucking charge two fifty. Nah, I'm not just, I'm not fucking, I'm fucking with y'all with two fifty. But like, nigga, I'm charging relatively the same prices as like my competitors, cause like, I feel like I got a better quality material than Nike. Like a Nike Tech, that shit's smooth, it's popular. But I feel like the materials I'm going to be dropping and releasing, quality-wise, way better. So I could at least charge, if not, like, more if not the same price as them. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to charge probably the same or close to the same price. But, um, number three, this all going to tie in together. Like, like, one, number three is two things. One, Figure out your vision and what you have planned for your clothing brand one. Like know every like know what you want to be in six months, know where you want to be in twelve months, know where you're gonna be in nine months, know where you're gonna be in two years, three years, five years. Um and have an escape plan. That's what I learned in college. Like I was in college playing football. Major is um business administration. The one thing I did learn is have an exit plan and plan out your shit months in advance. Like I got journals and journals of and some of the shit like I never like I have an idea for something and it's just never like I do nothing with it or I don't like the idea a few months later. But it's better to have a plan and then you adjust your game plan throughout the throughout the days, throughout the weeks, than not have nothing planned at all because it's gonna fuck up everything you got because you're gonna have no like three months from now. How you gonna have? How you gonna remember the idea you had in the back of your head like three months ago? be realistic but the, that don't got nothing to do with the second part the second part is get your brand in hand like get your brand in hand like like post that show like have it influencers in it you be in it have it like people want to see your actual product the quality all that like i'm saying the quality everything they want your product in hand like have product in hand like don't be doing uh mock-ups only all that but have quality in hand like I mean product in hand now number four on this list is gonna be don't follow trends now what do I mean by don't follow trends like it's good to follow trends but like don't base your whole operation behind one trend like say okay say okay a few months ago Y2K was popping real hard Y2K was popping no say you base your whole brand over you a Y2K brand but now people wearing the cut off shirts, you feel me? The short shorts, the bucket hats. Um, I'm trying to think what other shits people wearing. Shoes, well, I don't even get, me, get into the shoes, bro. Them hoes, the them thick ass cord ass laces people been wearing, like the two strand twist ass laces, all type of shit now. 
Y2K don't got nothing to do with that. Now you base your whole brand as a Y2K brand. That's not even necessarily what niggas wearing right now. You feel me? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't base your brand around any specific like trend. Like, it, okay, if Y2K popping, those cutoff shirts popping, um, the short shorts and dunks or whatever fashion like gothic, um horror type shirts and shit or the all black you know the different vibes like it's every different avenue of clothing but you see all these things popping instead of instead of picking one and and staying down that road you want to implement all of them into your brand like that's what i do like okay this popping and that popping and that popping instead of picking one i'm gonna I'm take all three and implement what i got going on so that's definitely one thing I say. Don't follow trends, but in, integrate trends into what you already have going on. So, and this is gonna go into my fifth and last point: build a brand identity. Now, what does this mean? Building a brand identity. Building a brand identity means you know, the name of your brand. When they hear the name, they think of the brand. Like when you think of Nike, you think of I right, the swoosh, just do it. You don't necessarily think shoes, clothes, anything. You think about a brand like Nike swoosh, let's do it or just do it, you feel me? Now, um Now what what is that? What do I like I'm gonna break down what I mean more about brand identity, like when you think of a brand identity it's like okay, my brand name is Steez. Now that Now boom, my camera just fucking My camera card is full, so I, I was cut off in the middle of talking, but I'm going to just finish this last point on my phone. Well, my other phone, this like my work phone, my my clothing brand phone, but um, build a brand identity. Like when they think of your brand, my brand name is Steve's, like, like Steve's itself is the name you want people to remember, not any particular thing you do or any like, like, this is why this is important. Okay. When you think of hand sanitizer, most people don't even call a hand sanitizer hand sanitizer. They call it Germex or or um, just things like that. Some people don't even call soda soda. They be like, oh, you got a, a Coke. Like, like certain things like that. Like, especially the Germex example. Like, Germex is the best example because, like, like, I swear to God, like, most people like genuinely don't call hand sanitizer hand sanitizer. They just be like, oh, you got Germex, you got Germex, you got Germex. Germex is the name of the brand and not of the hand sanitizer. Now, I would definitely like, I would definitely like go that route in terms of marketing, in terms of building a brand for your identity. But yeah, those are my five mistakes I would say to avoid. Don't, uh, I'm gonna go back over one by one. Okay, so not building a brand identity. Following trends, posting only mock-ups, plus the um the other point I had made about that. Not putting quality first and being cheap are the five mistakes you can make starting a clothing brand or going to a clothing brand because they gonna cost the costly mistakes is gonna lose you money. Once you as you grow, you're gonna realize those things are gonna hold you back now. Without further ado, if you made this point of video, like, comment, subscribe, and new, this will take with TV.